After delaying the party's national convention two times due to Hurricanes Joaquin and Matthew, the Progressive Liberal Party will gather on convention stage in less than two weeks' time. Now at that time, the party will unveil its platform for 2017 and public attention will be focused on the anticipated leadership face-off. Cleopatra Murphy has that story. The Progressive Liberal Party is gearing up for its first national convention since 2009, where party leader Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie will be contested for that post by former Fort Charlotte MP Alfred Sayers. The convention is set for January 24, 226 at the Melia Nassau Beach Resort. Convention Chairman the Honorable Shane Gibson says the party will accept whatever the outcome of that leadership race is. We have never ever challenged trust and transparency and accountability in an election. We've always accepted the results. And that is, why, that is why we continue to have young, dynamic, visionary, experienced individuals continue to come and step forward to run in the party. Other posts will also become available in the party, but Gibson says no candidate has openly presented at this point. We won't know those persons of those persons who are interested until we have completed nomination. And once the nomination is in, then we'll know for sure. And so at this stage, we are so close. We don't have to speculate. In a matter of days, we will know exactly who the persons are who will be challenging for the various positions. The PLP has only ratified several candidates to date, and party chairman Bradley Roberts says the party will complete its slate when the National General Council meets again. The last meeting of the National General Council will be held on the 19th of this month, and it is at that meeting that we expect to complete the ratification for all candidates in the next general election. Roberts also addressed the turnout at the Majority Rule March and the We March event. The PLP chairman says he was elated by the response of Bahamians. The parade started on Windsor Park and on the western side of Windsor Park, I had the privilege of representing that area for 25 years and it gave me the opportunity to meet and greet a lot of people along the way. Gibson says the party will use the convention as a platform to address questions that still linger, inclusive of value-added tax, national health insurance, and Bahamar, which he says the government rescued after it stalled and is now preparing to hire thousands. We put Bahamar in the hands of a world-class operator with successful hotels across the region and the world. All in the best interests, all in the best interests of the Bahamian people. Gibson adds the party is committed to national development, noting that while government has accomplished much, it was also hindered by two hurricanes. He says the party itself will be guided by the mission to empower Bahamians and encourage Bahamians to pay attention as the party unveils its plans for 2017. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News.